How are you, Is? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Alhamdulillah. So tell me about yourself, who you are, and why do we connect together? And why? My, why? Yeah, my name is Isamid. I did my O and A levels from Pakistan, and now I'm in Canada in here. So mm-hmm. before coming to Canada, the requirement was to do IELTS. So that is why I approached you. Mm-hmm. That is why we met, and uh, I did my IELTS because of you, with exceptional grades, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was your effort, but you destroyed your IELTS bands because of you, Eve. You were spending <laughs> one day, spending a day, but you didn't want to score that much. What was the reason for that? Uh, the requirement was only this, so I thought. <laughs> I and mean, I usually share it with my other student. That there was a guy once who was really, really good, who was able to bang the IELTS results, but he didn't do that because he didn't want <laughs> to do that. So eventually, he he spoiled my result as well. <laughs> I mean, he was brilliant, and he couldn't score nine or eight point five, or might be eight, because you were that guy who was able to. Because you usually score eight point five bands, and even in reading, I mean, it was nine out of nine most of the time. So it went that way most of the time. Like, mm-hmm. what what the benchmark was? I stay to this. Yeah, I stick to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bench for bench. Uh, I mean, after you passed your IELTS, and how did this idea came to you that you want to go abroad? How it all started, and what was the process? Uh, what were the difficulties you faced during the process of going abroad? And um, tell me about that. And before applying to Canada, I wanted to go to US, but the visa ratio of US was like way much difficult than Canada. Mm-hmm. I applied three times, and I got three refusals from US. Mm-hmm. So I opted to Canada, and for Canada I required IELTS. Meanwhile, I was applying to Canada and US. I was studying in Pakistan as well. Mm-hmm. I was doing bachelor's in actuarial science from Punjab University, Lahore. Right. And did you complete that degree so, from Pakistan? No, no. I I just completed four semesters. All right. And how many were the total semester? Six or eight? eight? Eight. It was a four-year program. Yeah. Okay. So you left it hard halfway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Because so how is it going from the way? start, I wanted to come to US. So to be on the safe safe side, I just like got admitted to the Punjab University to be on the safe side. Mm-hmm. That wasn't my aim. No, that's a good good approach that you did not waste your time over here in Pakistan when you were yeah. here, because students usually do it when they make a plan that they are going abroad, so they just stop doing everything with this vision that they yeah. are going abroad. And not every and, and, and with this, the what I studied at Punjab University helped me a lot. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, uh, how about your classes? Of course, your classes are not physical over there. These are going to be like these are the online classes that you are taking over there by staying inside your room. Is that mm-hmm. so, or do you take physical classes? Online, online for the rest of the year. Yeah. Okay. So, what's the difference? I mean, you are you are just staying there. You just paid, and you just. Uh, fought a lot for that environment, for that specific room in which you are staying nowadays. No, firstly I had to quarantine for fourteen days because that was the requirement. If you travel to Canada, you got to uh, quarantine for fourteen days. You can't get out of your room. You have to stay alone. You can't share your room with anyone. Hmm. So firstly, that was a problem. Then after that, I was looking for a job, and I wasn't getting one. Okay. And, and the study was. Go- Yeah, I'm on. I'm on the job right now. Yeah, you owe us a treat. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take us again to to gourmet restaurant to give us a treat. <laughs> Inshallah, I'll be very minimal back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, so tell me about the process. I mean, where, once um, you decided that you have to go to Wales, and uh, it was so obvious, you came to us and you studied from us, and after that, you uh, completed it. You scored good bands as well. And then what's after that? So basically, the process I went through. I I went to the consultant. He like worked out all the process. Okay. But in the time being, I was doing my IELTS. I got admitted to a university, uh, the University of Manitoba, that's located in Winnipeg. Hmm. I got admitted. I paid the fee. I got my letter of acceptance. After that, I did my IELTS. Oh, okay. And after that, uh, I I was yeah. 
I was going through a program which Canada offers to Pakistan, India, Nepal, and Bangladesh only. Mm-hmm. It it is called SDS program. Okay. You have to pay a full year fee and a ten thousand dollars to the GIC account. Hmm. And the visa results is shortened to twenty days. Okay. Like you get your visa resulting only twenty days. Hmm. Otherwise, it takes a, about forty days to a month to hmm. two months. Yeah. All right. And how long have you been there now? Uh, I came here on January seventh, two thousand twenty-one. Okay. Like it's been three and a half months. Three and a half months. All right, all right. And how is it going? It it is going well. First, uh, the first two months were very depressing for me. Okay. Yeah, I was getting homesick and. Family members. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was all alone. Mm-hmm. That's why I was getting a, a little stressed out. Uh, then I started looking for job, getting home, yeah, doing home workouts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can see that on your <laughs> face. I've <laughs> <laughs> got some fat. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, by by taking your classes from there, from an international university, so what do you think is the basic difference between the quality of education that you are getting from there and the education you are getting from here in Pakistan? Uh, it's been only a month. I have been starting my studies here. Right. Like my study started a month ago, mm-hmm. and the very first thing they told me about was about the college. Mm-hmm. First two first two weeks, we only studied about what the course is, mm-hmm. how this college operates, who are the teachers, what are their qualifications, okay. and the education integrity about what happens if you cheat, what happens if you like. What happens if you plagiarize? Hmm. That's all. That's what they told about well, in the first the way, weeks. By the way, what happens when you cheat? Hmm. <laughs> 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 they just take you out of the course. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> they just fail you. Hmm. Yes. Uh, sorry, come again. What happens? They just take you out of the course. Okay. You are dropped out of the course, and you fail, and you get a got to do the course again with the full fee i hope fee. we should i hope we should never see you back in pakistan <laughs> <laughs> at least in next few years <laughs> okay so did you apply yourself or was it because of any consultant i applied through a consultant but uh, most of the things i did myself okay and what were yeah. those most of the things iles uh, you, you <laughs> first of all iles <laughs> okay Yeah, the only process that what uh, my consultant did was he applied for the admission, mm-hmm. and he like he was in the connection with the university because they get a commission from the university, mm-hmm. so we cannot get direct to the university. Okay, okay. That's why that's the process. Here. All right. So, yeah. uh, have you got some friends over there or not? I believe not yet. <laughs> no, no, I have made some friends. because when i came when i came here i was received by a friend of my brother okay he's living here he got my apartment hmm. for the first 14 days i was living alone but then hmm. i like shared a room with her, him hmm. and uh, his acquaintances became mine as well okay yeah That's and great. now i have a, now i have a group of friends here Oh, very well then. You owe us a treat for dad as well. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. Okay, uh, well, uh, East, thank you so very much for your time, dad. You're is, welcome. Uh, and I'm really glad that you achieved what you really wanted to. Thank you so and, much. And uh, I have seen the real current, real, real dedication in yourself for your future, and you will get the success which you really want to. Inshallah, my best wishes Inshallah. are with you. Inshallah, thank you. Life training best wishes are with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much for your time. Take care, brother. Allah Hafiz. Thank you. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.